so what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and you can see from this home screen this is freaky os custom room which is based on android version 10 and is available for a lot of devices which are those devices i'll provide a link in the description for all the supported devices which includes redmi note 8 redmi note 7 pro redmi note 5 pro note 6 pro and a lot more devices all these devices are officially supported for freaky os custom room let me show you this is based on android version 10 as you can see this is freaky os and my device is redmi note at ginkgo which i'm using the maintainer of this device is amit acharya thanks to the developer who just made this great custom room for redmi note 8 users this is freaky os version official with the august security patch this room is quite great in the terms of performance and speed i'm using from some time and it's super duper fast it's official build i didn't got any lags i didn't got any bugs at all from some time i'm using from morning and now it's evening here it's fully great custom room available right now which are those features you get in freaky os and is it really great custom room to use as a daily driver for your device make sure to watch this video till the end now let's get started okay guys so let's start with something different this wallpaper is looking very very cool as you already got to know i know that this is the main attractive thing about this build how to get this wallpaper when you open this freaky os wallpaper section here you have a lot of wallpapers options pre-installed you don't need internet connection for this these wallpapers are pre-installed you can apply any wallpaper from here and all these wallpapers are damn cool if you're a fan of joker then you might install this room you might use these kind of wallpapers this looks damn cool like this and these wallpaper looks very very interesting i have applied the wallpaper from here i can apply this wallpaper from here too simply click set wallpaper click on lock screen and home screen or both whatever else you need okay these are the wallpapers you get here i have applied this wallpaper and this wallpaper looks damn cool and you cannot see these kind of wallpapers in any other custom room at all and this is one of the great things about this custom room for why you should use this build Okay, let me show you some more thing first of all the performance as i already shown you the performance is quite great quite smooth if you talk about the quick settings panel these quick settings panel look nice very tall it has almost a green color everywhere if you have used the paranoid android you can see this green color everywhere in paranoid android and like this in freaky os we have these green tiles and everywhere green 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 we have this kind of header image options available a lot of extra header images options are available in the settings you can go and customize these kind of things and if you talk about the quick settings customizations or quick setting tiles customization when you click here you only get the options to customize your columns and columns length landscape i was expecting that i need two rows here but there's no option of setting these rows etc so this is not a disadvantage kind of but still if the rows were there that might be good other things like press on tiles to add or remove and these are the tiles options you get here you don't get any extra tiles these are the normal tiles options if you compare it with the msm extended havoc and rros and a lot more other custom rooms which has a lot of extra tiles options available some are useless of course but yes the quantity is great but in this build we don't get extra tiles options these tiles are available which are necessary which you can use on a device as a as a regular basis or daily basis this is kind of great you have the important options like the fps info we have the dark theme hotspot is there so main tiles options are available here there's nothing else to talk about this build because this build does not have any extra things it has some customization features so let's talk about the customization features first of all if you talk about the display battery stats and sound etc these are the same things like other builds but if we talk about the security yes we have the face lock option available as, as you can see i have enabled the face lock so it's kind of good thing that face lock is available too but other things are kind of same the xiaomi parts and etc i think the so, xiaomi parts is available in xiaomi devices all the xiaomi devices as it is available for asus max pro m1 also i'm not sure about that device but maybe the features are everything almost just same if you talk about this customization features panel like this where you have the status bar customizations quick settings hardware buttons lock screen and some things like that 
this is everything just same it has all the green ui everywhere as i already shown you in the quick settings panel here you also get the green kind of ui the wallpapers are also green so this is kind of something unique also it has a status bar customization which includes only little bit of customization features like the show 4g instead of lte show data disabled icon and some things like that nothing extra features it does not have some extra features some useless features which you don't use but it also does not have some great features Features you might need to use on your device like in my case I sometimes use the clock customizations I sometimes use the hide notch option there's no option of hiding the notch and etc but there's the traffic indicators options available so still it's good quick settings customization includes like this and one thing let me show you if I swipe down you will see this Samsung one UI like UI available here which is kind of a one-handed mode you can say but yes this looks very interesting by default it is not enabled whenever you open any menu from here you have to swipe down then you will see this kind of ui option available kind of a hidden thing in here hardware buttons have the accidental touch and volume rockers nothing else lock screen notifications power menu gestures and miscellaneous nothing else everything is just same all these things i just wanted to share with you i think these are enough and you should try out this build in the terms of performance i'm not saying it's just great yes it's one of the great custom rooms available for these devices i'll provide you in the i provide you the link in the description for all the supported devices so you can download and install for your device and if you have a device which is not officially supported maybe the unofficial build is available or you can use the gsi so these were the things i just wanted to share with you i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to share this video also now this was all thanks for watching goodbye